What's going on, dear Unity? Dear Unity, U N I T Y Y Y. Unity Y. Okay, so check this out. This is Dear Unity. So, public service announcement. I know I say this in all of them, but this is a video diary. So, it's nothing that I promote. Um, it is something that I just basically get on video because I don't like to write in a diary. So, instead, Instead of journaling, I just basically turn on my camera and I talk about different things I'm going through or how I'm feeling or what I plan on doing, just that type of thing. So if you cannot say that's cool, go check out anything else on my page. Please uh, subscribe. You know, it's, it's, it's versatile things on here. So check it out. But yeah, anyways, it's nothing that I promote. So let's get into it. So... Today is July the 31st, um, 2022. At that, I might add, let me see. I think the last time I did a Dear Unity, I want to say it, it probably was like July the 1st, if that. But um, so the update, oh my God. And I'm not even going to lie, I wish I started doing this more often. But sometimes I'd be literally mentally and physically drained and it just takes a toll on me so i did write down like a couple of notes that i probably need to go over that i said i want to talk about so i can remember this was my mindset at the time so praise dancing so anybody that know i have been praise dancing since i was a younger uh since i was a legit you see what i'm saying like since i was like little and um and uh i had stopped for a while i actually stopped once i had my daughter my oldest daughter london and then like it's crazy and bizarre because i i danced it on easter and then i also just recently danced uh for this youth dance explosion that we had in my church and i feel so i ain't gonna lie i always be like man i'm gonna retire i'm gonna retire but i have to understand um that was like therapy for me when I was younger, like dancing. Like, I don't, you know, I don't box myself into one dancing. So, yeah, you might see me jigging on some videos. Ah, ah, I can't twerk. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even think I'm gonna be twerking because I don't twerk. You see what I'm saying? But you might see me dancing on a couple of videos. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, fiending. And you might see me, you know, I can only imagine. But at the end of the day, it's me. So, um, it was such a refreshing to do the dance and i put it on my youtube channel so go check it out um it was so refreshing for me to look and see how far i came and even the song that i had did this particular time first of all it was my grandpa's favorite song it's called i can only imagine and it's crazy and bizarre because i did you know when i was younger and i used to dance and stuff like that i used to uh, i was self-taught so a lot of times, yeah, I know I felt the roars in the song, but it, it means so much different once you get older and you do things because you're literally, you're literally your mindset is totally changed on a lot of stuff. So yeah, it's up there and it's stuck there. So, okay. Um, what I was about to say. Okay. So yeah, so I'm going to keep on, you know, I don't even want to, you know, kind of say, but I'm really over here thinking. Because I'm thinking today is July the 31st. Let me back it up. So, July the 1st. And this is how quickly this month has spun by. Because I haven't did a video diary this whole month. And I remember I kept saying, I was laying up here today. And I kept saying to myself, like, I got to do a diary. I got to go ahead and do a diary. And then I thought about it. And I'm just like, wow, you know, uh, I'm sitting over here thinking and stuff like that. I'm sitting over here thinking, my bad. Thought I seen it. I was gonna keep this little piece back on my bed. But I was sitting over here thinking and stuff like that. And um July first was an eye opener for me. I had found out some information about a, a person that I was, you know, close to, and it really did put me probably in 
you know, just in a in a different type of mind space for over two weeks. And I really wanted to point that out in this video because I wanted people to understand, like, don't ever, I have never been the type of person, I give everybody the benefit of the doubt. But uh, I always go with your intuitions. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't ever let somebody make you believe or make you feel like that your feelings is invalid or don't basically stand on what you say. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have a, if you have a suspicion or if you feel the type of way, this goes for a family member, or an associate, a friend, a job, or anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you have a feeling about something and if you go to a person or you try to, if you have a problem and you try to go and you try to get a solution to it and then a person try to shun you away or try to make it seem like that you're being over the top and over reacting please detach yourself away from that because anything or anybody that care about you they will never think that you're being over the top for wanting clarification the problem is that a lot of times people are not real you see what i'm saying like they they rather for you speculate and that's so crazy to me because you know we always be like man if you got something to say or if you feel some type of way you need to ask go ask the horse but when you ask the horse when you ask the source the person who does it then they tend to not want to they tend to either lie about it or they tend to just flip it on you. Anytime you're in a situation, if a person try to flip it back on you uh, to make your feel feelings feel invalid or they try to shun you off, please detach yourself from this situation. And I'm talking about this goes for friendship, relationship, jobs, anything. Because regardless of the fact, you're not feeling like that because you're crazy. You're not feeling like that because you're being over the top. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is literally your intuition telling you that something is not right. And, um, you guys, I'm just being so real with y'all. That's so crazy because July 1st really took a toll on me because I had found out some information about uh, a situation and it really did put me in a in a mindset of like terrified uh and it wasn't nothing per se towards me and what i got going on but it was just the outlook of how i felt about this person and it was kind of like man like you can lose somebody trust and um you can lose like a lot of respect for a person within moments within moments so I'm just over here now thinking like, ooh, like this is a sign to like to be understanding. Then you guys have to understand when you see the signs or when you are giving confirmation on something, detach. Stop arguing. Stop going back and forth. Stop sitting up here trying to get your point across. Don't even feel the need to sit up here and justify or go in on that person to let them know how you feel. Leave it alone. Because people are so crazy these days to the point where I be having the mindset of people dang near kill you when it comes down to you being exposed to their truth or the real them. And you have to be careful because in this day of time, you know what I'm saying, like you'll be thinking like, oh, there ain't nothing. I'm finna, I'm finna tell this person this, this, and that. And I'm finna put them on blast and this, this, and that. And next thing you know, that's your life. Because people are willing to kill behind their livelihood. People are willing to die behind the perspective of what other people might see or think of them. And you have to be careful. So sometimes you need to take that L. Take that L. Yes, it might hurt. Yes, it might feel frustrating. Yes, you might be mad. But please take that L before you take another L when it comes down to your future and your life. So walk away just walk away from a situation i don't care like i said for instance, it can be it can be job it can be uh it can be friends family relationship once you see the signs when something is exposed to you walk away stop trying to justify it stop trying to figure out oh okay uh it, it it's i could just be tripping you ain't tripping you ain't tripping God, warning, warning come before destruction. 
always remember that one it come before destruction. So which how you riding? How you how you how you how you going about the process? Okay, love you too. Cause I'm doing a video. That's my baby. Let's see, my babies love me, baby. And they even got to go to sleep because they they summertime. But hey, uh, yeah, that that's just crazy. Cause I'm over here thinking like how this whole month went by fast, and it's all because I literally probably was so caught up into some some stuff that was exposed to me and it kind of really distracted me. It's funny because I seen something today. They said me and July just came through and didn't even put their purse down. They just, what's up? I holla at y'all. Bye. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, anyways, okay, so my next journey, I'm gonna wrap it up because yeah, I've been I feel like I'm rambling. But okay, so the month of August is gonna come up. So bam this is how uh, i just want to sit up here and give this little you know this little scenario because i don't know you know my future how this might go play out so last sunday at the church me and my kids we was in the car i don't know what we was talking about i don't even know how we got on the subject of this situation but you know we was talking about houses and then I remember my kids were saying something like, my son was like, oh, we're going to get a house because we stay in an apartment. So I was just like, you know, I was like, listen. And for some reason, I was just like, I because I have to understand the tongue is a powerful thing. Come on, somebody. You can speak life and death. And just because you have to be careful what you say. That's why I was up there like, I never sit up here and say again, oh, girl, I'm broke. I ain't got it. Yeah, I got it. And I might not have it for you. I might not have it to give, but I got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be consistently speaking positive in your life because when you keep on sending for, oh, I ain't got it, I can't do it, this, this, and it. Anyway, so we was talking, my kids was talking about, you know what I'm saying? We was talking about a house. I don't know how they got in the, the subject of, I don't even know how they came up in the in the, in the the disclosure. Like, I, what, what was we thinking or talking about to get on this subject? Anyways, I just remember, hey, I am doing a video. So, um, so therefore I was like, okay, so I looked into it. Well, no, 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 I'm sorry. I got distracted. So one of my kids was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my son was like, oh, we going to get a house with this. And I was just like, listen, cause I don't really even like saying stuff. Cause I, I do be feeling a little jinky at times. I be feeling like stuff can be a little jinky. So I was like, listen, next time we move, we going to have a house. You know what I'm saying? I said, next time we move, we're going to move somewhere where it's, you know what I'm saying, enough space for all of us and it's very affordable. That's what I said, right? I said that. Because I ain't going to lie. I was just like, I just didn't want to be like, yeah, next time we move, it's going to be a bigger place. And then I'm sitting over here swimming in debt. You see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm stressing trying to make sure I make it. So I was like, yeah, next place we move, it's going to be enough room for all of us. And on top of that, it's going to be affordable. Like, I'm going to be able to pay it off the rip. So I just said that, left it at that. Next morning, we have a customer that come in every Monday morning to my job. Every Monday morning. I've been knowing him for years. So I took his order, did his order. Next thing you know, he looked at me, he told me, he said, Hey, are you looking for a rent house or something? And I was like, No. I was like, Where I'm at, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, just gonna save us some money with this. Cause you know where I stay at. I'm like, It's cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I ain't really planning on moving, everything flowing, whatever. And so he was like, oh, okay. So then he was just like, yeah, you know, just looking to get in the house or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you never know. He's like, even if you can't afford it, try to look through a bank. You know what I'm saying? Like, try to go get a loan through a bank or something like that. You just never know how it might play out. So, bam, he says this. So, remind you, I ain't even thinking about a house. I just, it was just ironic because I was thinking like, dang, me and my kids were just saying something about a house. And then they thing, you know, this man, I ain't said two words to him about no house, no nothing. I never said, like, we ain't even discussed me and him is talking about a house. And he says this. And it wasn't even like he was like, you know, asking me a thousand questions. He just simply was just like, hey, you going to get a rent house? You looking for a rent house? And I'm like, no. Then he hit me with that. Oh, okay, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, even if you don't have enough money and you want to ever get a house, look into, you know, the banks. He said, because I know my bank, they give out loans with the woo-la-la. So after he said that, I said, dang, that's weird because me and my kids like, I ain't think nothing about it. Get off of work. I get home. Because <sighs> I'm talking to you. Get off of work. I get home. 
bam, I get a note on my desk. I already see two of my neighbors outside. They talk to me like, hey, did you get that note on your door? I was like, no. So I go upstairs. I look at the note. It says they going up on our rent like a thousand dollars. It's up in the thousand. So I was like, what? Like, what? So we outside, you know, I went back outside. Me and my neighbors, we talking. You see to me. We just, you know, talking or whatever. So, boom. You see what I'm saying? Like, we finished talking. And, you know, of course, they're, they're in there. They're like, because let me tell y'all something. The, it jumped. It went from, like, I pay like eight something to now it's going to be 1500 That is a major leap. You see what I'm saying? Especially when it comes down to, you know, being a single mother with three kids and et cetera, et cetera. Like, that's definitely out the, out the blue. So, you know, of course, they was going in because, you know, they feel like it's... And then it's short notice because we got until August, which is, you know, this this, mid, this month, next month. We have until the month of August to decide if we're going to renew or not. If we're not, then we might as well just get our stuff and leave. And I feel like they did that on purpose because I'm like, y'all know school could have come up, kid. You know, people trying to get their kids school stuff and all that type of stuff. Like, y'all know what y'all was doing? Peep game. So, um, so I was like, dang, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is bogus. I was just like, dang, this is bogus. You know, my neighbors was like, man, we feel like we need to go down and we could be some bad. Then I sat up here and said to myself, like, Dang, this is crazy. Just told my kids Sunday. It's Monday. The man came in and said this. Now I'm dealing with an ultimatum. And I don't know how some people is, but I know how God do me. I get so comfortable in situations. When I get comfortable, I get comfortable. You know what I'm saying? So, therefore, I feel like God have always had to, like, basically dangle something or, like, force me out of a situation for me to finally leave. Because I would consistently stay if I'm not, you know what I'm saying, if I don't shake it up. And I hate to be like that because... That procrastination that I speak on, that falls into that category. And then at the end of the day, it's kind of like, that's not a good thing. You see what I'm saying? Because I could have been trying to see and save and stick or whatever. So now I'm dealing with an ultimatum where Marine is going to go up. And I know for a fact that I couldn't probably afford it. Because let's just keep it real. If I could afford it, or if any of these people over here could afford it, they wouldn't be standing over here where I'm at. You see what I'm saying? Or you got people that don't even have a car. So what makes you think that they can spend $1,500 on uh, rent? But where I stay at, it is definitely like a tourist site. Like, it's like a lot of people that, like, come down here, they party. It's like, it's a good location. Now, the area might not be just all of it, but the location is perfect. So, what they're really trying to do is, you know, uh, get, you know, basically get everybody up out of these apartments so they can turn them down and remodel them and then get the people that they want with the money so they can charge sky high. So, that's why I was up here saying I started thinking. And I started telling God, I was like, you know what, God, at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? If it's meant for if you miss if it's meant to be, then you know, I'm not gonna stress. The whole time I'm still not stressing. I'm still not wary. And I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, like I should probably be wary. But at the end of the day, I can't. Like I'm not. Like I'm not even budging. Like I'm just like, okay, you know, with this. And then I was even trying to tell my neighbor, I'm like, listen, if these people want y'all out, they're giving y'all ultimate. They don't care next month. Once it comes down to that renewal of list, it's you're gonna sign it or you can get your crap and go. They not caring about that. So I was like, dang, okay, queen. So I'm over here pacing, I'm thinking. Uh I ain't gonna lie, the first day, that Monday, I was like really just I lay down. I was like, man, I'm just then I had thought about it. I said, I'm not going to wear it, but I'm not going to stress about it. So, you know, of course, I got all my stuff. I started uh, applying for these other uh, these other locations. You know what I'm saying? Like these townhomes out there in a, a different area, stuff like that. Beautiful location. And so uh, I applied for those. Some told me to go out there, apply. I stayed, I, I sit up there, and it took me at least an hour to fill out the application, but I was determined, like, I couldn't even sleep that night, because I was like, man, once I get up and get off of work, I'm going straight to these apartments, and I'm going to apply, so, because they had a waiting list, and they got a waiting list, so I'm like, girl, I'm believing in God, so I'm going to push through, so, I'm sorry, because I really trying to wrap this video up, because <laughs> I can't. So, anyways, I was like, you know, so I'm going to press through. So, then I talked to my 
I talked to my son. Uh, my son was actually it's funny because he was trying to call his aunt a day before her birthday. And I was like, why are you trying to call her a day before her birthday? Anyways, he ended up calling her because he said he wanted to be the first person to tell her happy birthday. So he calls her. They chit chat. So then I get on the phone with her. We talking. I start telling her about, you know, my, I start telling her about, you know, my situation. So then she sit up and she said, Quee, why, you like, have you ever thought about getting a house? Like, what's going on with this house? Like, what's going on? God, what did you try to tell me? You know what I'm saying? I just applied for some towns. But, you know, then you know, said it was a situation where it's like somebody else talking about, hey, have you looked into these, you know, have you looked into getting a house? And I'm like, well, right now I'm not financially stable. I'm not this. I know it's going to take a lot. I know these people going to be in your business because I heard they go in. They want to be all up into your business. She said no. So she started telling me about a program that she was a part of. She was like, no, they help you. You know what I'm saying? She was like, listen, you guys, when I tell you that the blessing and the confirmation that that my son uh, had gave me, it was kind of like God was just pouring like something in her to like gas gas me you see what i'm saying because she was just like listen this is some information that like reminds you my son is eight years old and me and her never like just really even talked about finances or nothing like that but she literally was just like man before i got my house she said i was staying in some in some apartments that we the willing to support but i looked at my kids she said i had three kids because she got three kids just like me single mother three kids she was like i had three kids she said i was living in these apartments she said uh she was like yeah that was kind of based on your uh she like that was based on your income she said but i kept i seen my kids growing she's like and i kept on saying to myself i was like i really want something bigger and better for us so she said i ended up going through this program she said i was making eight dollars an hour every straight i went through this program she said i was she said i've been in my house She's been in the house that she got with the program for over 12 years, and she's on a big mortgage. She said she owns that house. She said, this is my house. This is something that I can, you know, uh, go through, you know what I'm saying? Like, basically, this is something that I can pass on to my kids or whatever, or even if I decide to go get another house or whatever, I can always have this house. And she started telling me the different type of things. She was telling me to look it up. And then uh, she was just like, don't worry. She was like, don't worry about your finances. Don't worry about different type of stuff like this because this program helps you with that. And on top of them helping you with that, you know what I'm saying? Like, even, you know, like, your, your, the most labor you're going to have to do is probably go to a class. Probably have to, you know, do, like, some community service and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's all going to work greater for a good. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, even when she was just like the classes, she was like, you got to think about it. The classes are going to be about finances and, you know, how to budget and stuff like that. Something that you might need regardless and, you know, that can help you in the long run. So, she's telling me all this stuff, y'all. I'm hype. I'm, I can't even sleep at night because I'm... I'm all on, I'm all on the computer, like, ooh, 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 ooh. So, bam, the next day, I couldn't even bear to work. I was just so excited. So then I get on the computer after I get out of work. I went ahead. I filled out the application at first. I ain't going to lie. I did the pre-screen. And then they said, you know what I'm saying? They was like, oh, you don't qualify. So I was like, man, now I had refreshed the button. I said, Lord, look, don't do it. So I refreshed the button. I refreshed that button. Bam, you know what I'm saying? As soon as I refreshed the button, Okay, boom, let's get into it. So I, re I refresh the button. I fit out the application again. Next thing I know, it said, okay, bam, you pre-approved. So, of course, you had to pay like a little fee or whatever so they could run the big background checks and different type of stuff like that. So, right now, I'm just waiting on them to email me to let me know if I was accepted into the program so they can look over my information and see where do we go from here. So, regardless of the fact, I'm just telling you guys to keep trying. Like, I'm going a, I'm to a keep an update because I really want to docu document this series, I'll probably even say something like, I might even start doing like a little series. But first, let me get into the list. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying that I get into the program. I'm praying that, you know, that uh, I can basically, you know, document this process and stuff like that. I just hope everything goes. I know everything is going to go good. Period, poo. But yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. So this is Dear Unity. Today is July the 31st, 2022. And August is up next. It's tomorrow. Much love, much blessings. 
everything gets with a flow. Go hard or go home. We in here. Slats. <laughs> My dear unifying 